I've held back building a Class A amplifier as I've watched the competition or amplifiers from other amplifier companies detonate on stage and blow up with some of our most favorite musicians playing them due to the fact they used EL84 output tubes, or at least most of them did, as well as they had other problems with transformers and thermal issues and so on. So there's a whole host of reasons that I've stayed away from Class A amplifiers until this time. I've taken this opportunity with the release of the 6V6 GT from Electroharmonics, which is a rugged 6V6, it sounds amazing, has really super tone, and it is really a rival to the EL84s. And using a quartet of them, we're able to get a reliable 35 watts. 35 watts is actually an optimum amount of power for a Class A power amp for most live situations. 15 watts or 20 watts is not enough headroom to be able to play clean, especially with dissident chords. By doubling the output power to 35 watts around that power, it has an adequate amount of power to play live, and yet it's not too loud for playing in a small studio or at home. Coupled with the vintage modern switch on the back, which cuts the power in half, you can take it down to 17 watts if you desire to, to be able to have distort the output stage at a lower level. But 35 watts is really a good amount of power for an amplifier, especially coupled with the celestian Heritage 30 speaker. 6V6s are an amazing sounding tube. They've been used in every amp from Princeton Reverbs and Champs to my Super Champ I designed for Fender to you name it, the original Tweed Deluxes, they're all using the 6V6 tube. And why was that? It was a reliable and rugged low power tube. So a pair of 6V6s was easy to make 20 watts with in Class AB, and you could make 15 watts relatively reliable with Class A. EL84s do not dissipate enough screen current in order to make them reliable as used in most of the amplifiers on the market. Many of the issues that make Class A amplifiers unreliable are a result of not planning for the thermal demands of the Class A amplifier. For example, the output transformers, the power transformers. Most of the Class A amplifiers transformers are for the power output of the amplifier in a Class AB mode, meaning to say that they're not capable of a, the duty cycle of a Class A amplifier being run at a high idle current for an extended period of time. So for example, in our amplifiers, the Venus 6 uses a 60 watt, ampli 60 watt amplifier, power transformer as well as output transformer, even though the amplifier only puts out 35 watts. So it has the thermal capacity in the transformers to handle idling at high currents, which is what Class A amplifiers do, for an extended period of time. The heat producing components that are originally put in chassis by other manufacturers of Class A, we've taken outside and put them on a large heat shedding heat sink. Our heat sink is able to convect air around it and dissipate the heat without concentrating the heat on the inside of the chassis. What destroys components in amplifiers is heat.